Chapter 4 The door in entrance. Toy is pregnant again. Toy Jason Toroki Provo. Toy Jason Toshinari Toroki Provo. I woke up before my husband because I was feeling sick in my stomach, so I went to our bathroom, connected to the, our bedroom, and I went there to something to try and stop my upset stomach. When I got there, I saw the toilet and I knew what to do, so I did it. I was hurrying up so I would not wake up Yagi. I knew he was at the door and just smiled. I see, is everything okay, love? He asked. I'm okay. Can you go out? I spoke. No. I will stay with you. He spoke. I smiled and he put his hand on my back and he smiled and I went back to throwing up. Then I was done and I smiled and looked at the, at the drawer and he opened it and saw what I needed. And he got me on the toilet and he opened my legs and said there's pee on it. He spoke. I smiled a little being tired and he smiled. When he said stop, I stopped and he went to grab his phone and set the timer. I was shocked he knew how to do this. Do it over the years we did this. When it was done, he looked at it and he started to cry. Love, you're pregnant again, said Yagi. I smiled he helped me up and took me to our room and I got on to have more sleep. He would be dealing with getting the groceries, and then he would got something to do. I smiled, and he did also had hair work. I smiled, he would have kissed my head and decided to get the housework done, and he smiled, and went to get the housework done for me. I smiled, he was doing it for me. I smiled, and he was doing it, and I could hear Ren Yan Talking to him. Hey, Dad, where is Mom? He asked. He is expecting he is low on energy, so he needs to rest, my, said my husband. Can I get him orange juice, just like Jack? Just like orange juice, like Jack would do, because every time Mom is expecting and he is done throwing up, Jack would bring him orange juice, said Rindian. Okay, go bring your Mom orange juice, said my husband. Thanks, Dad, said Rindian. I heard the fridge open, I heard the orange juice container come out of the fridge, and the fridge door closed. And I heard the cupboard, oh, oh, cupboard open for the cups. I smiled and he was going to get me orange juice, just like what Jack would do. I smiled and it was nice that my son was doing that for me. I heard my, the door open from the fridge, and it closed, and my son started to walk to my room. I was acting like I was sleeping when he opened the door to my room, and I smiled and he was laughing, knowing that I was fake sleeping. I am fake sleeping. I know you are up, Mom, said Rinyan. Oh, you got me, I spoke. Ha, I knew I got you, said Rinyan. So what do you need, son, I asked. I got you orange shoes, said Rinyan. Thank you, you. Thank you, Rinyan, I spoke. He gave me the orange juice, and I smiled and sat up and started to drink it, and it was good, and it helped me get, give, help give me energy. Thanks again, Rinyan. I needed that. I spoke again off the bed and go to see what my husband was doing. I got to the kitchen and saw my husband in an apron, and it was so cute, and he was cute in an apron. I turned, he turned around and he smiled at me and he blushed when I looked at him and stared in my eyes to see him in the apron. He smiled and went back to cooking for the food for the kids. I smiled he was doing a good job. I smiled and he was making sure to not burn the food. I smiled and it was time nice for him to cook for them than me. He was done cooking and Renyan came into the room and sat on the chair at the table. And my husband put food on his pot, and he started to eat. I smiled. It was nice, so nice. He liked his dad and my cooking, but the both of times. He smiled, and he finished his food, and he went to the tray room to start to train. I smiled and sat in the chair, and put and he put food on for me, something that I would eat when I am expecting for our children. I smiled, and I started to eat, and it was done. I had my phone go off, and it was my agency. I was shocked, and I answered the phone. Hello, this is Firefly. I spoke. 
Sir, we need you to go to our aid station by psychic. I will be right there, I spoke. I hand up the phone and looked at Yagi. You are needed at the incident. Call your dad. Take care of the kids, said Yagi. I smiled and I hit my dad's number. Hello, said Yoshi. Asked Yoshido. Hey, dad, I need you to take care of the kids, I spoke. I will do it, said dad Yoshido. Come now, because I need to. I am needed in my agency, I spoke. I'll be right there, said Yoshino. I smiled and Yoshino hid. Up his phone, I smiled and he was coming soon. I was feeling sick again. I ran to the main bathroom. I was puking in the toilet and I heard it was hard to not to get emotional sickness for being pregnant over the years. I was shocked that I felt my dad's hand on my back. It's going it's okay, baby boy. Yagi told me and I'm here, so Yoshino. I'm happy you and are here, Pa Dad. I spoke. I maybe should not go to the answer today. I, to my answer today, I spoke. But you have to, say Yoshino. But I can't let them know I'm expecting again. We would be overprotected again, I spoke. That's a good thing, said Yoshino. Okay, I'll go to my agency, I spoke. I got up from the ground and went to my main room. And I kissed Yagi cheek and went. I got my pregnancy hero here, so on. And I smiled and to the pro, went to the pro year agency. I got into my car and headed to the AC. When I got there, I par parked the car and everyone smiled. I got climbed into the f uh, into out of the car and my best psychic took a the car to the to my parking spot. As soon as they saw I was in my prior place suit, so they rushed me inside. I was shocked they would do that, but I think they saw the media, so they were doing their job as a psychic. I smiled and got in the elevator and used my marionette power to look into the my office and saw Shania I was in there. I was on my floor and headed to there and smiled and walked into my office in shock. Shook Shania's head and he smiled. So you are expecting Firefly? Said Shania. Yes, we are, I spoke. So he did it after the wedding party, said Shania. I guess you can say that, I spoke. I knew you two did it, said Shania. So why did you cut your Shania? I spoke. It's about the case about that young child, said Shania. So when you have the case started, you need my help, I spoke. Yes, I do, said Shania. I will help you, I spoke. Good, said Shania. That is all, said Shania. He got up and we shook hands and he left the room. I laid my head on my desk and I smiled and looked and what to do next? And my staff came into the room. So you are, are you going home? Said the one of my psychics. I would, but I still I will stay with you. I spoke. Cool. We would show you what we've been what we are doing. Said the psychics. That would be fine. I spoke. They took me to the trade room and put me in my throne chair. I was shocked they would be showing me. How they had been trained when I was gone. I smiled and watched them using their quirks and them doing the same things I taught them but better. I smiled and they did an awesome job. I was clapping my hands and they did a good job. I looked at my phone and it was time for me to go home. So I got up and bowed to my psychics and they bowed to me. And I headed to the elevator and pressed the button to the main floor. So my psyche waited for me, and he got my car, and I hopped in the car and got home and smiled, and when I parked the car, I climbed out of the car and smiled and saw that it was time f It was time to see what it was what it was for lunch that Dad was cooking. When I got inside, I saw the kids were uh, kids at the table, and my dad was showing them how to he is making them how he would make them something to eat. I smiled and sat on, on the chair in the, uh, at the table, and the kids smiled, and it was nice that they were going to have the grandpa make lunch. He would make lunch for me when I was a kid. I smiled and sat there in my ear suit because the baby felt happy that they were not tight in the space in my stomach. My dad was done, and I smiled, and the food was done. Dad put the food on the plates and gave it to everyone. 
and self. I smiled. It was nice for him to do this for us. We ate together as a family.